Hi everyone, welcome to Pally's, Patty's Polished Quar- Ooh, okay. Pally's po <laughs> I guess maybe I should get a catchy phrase that I can actually say. Patty's Polish Corner. There we go, I just get so excited and the words just won't come out right. <laughs> Okay, um, this one's for you, Stampaholics. Um, I think you'll be excited to see what I got in this haul. And this is like more kind of like a February part haul because it didn't actually even come in in February, but that's okay. I got my order of uh, Colors Like Stamping Polish from Poland. It took an entire month. And you know, I have to do a shout out to the Postal Service here in my town. The, the two boxes that I actually just got today would have fit in my mailbox. I don't know what the deal was. They were laying on the floor. I don't know. Sometimes they put stuff in the wrong mailboxes. So I don't know if somebody, you know, got to the mailbox and saw it wasn't theirs and put it on the floor or not. I don't know. It was just really strange. But thanks a lot for, you know, throwing my packages on the floor whatever. They weren't even underneath my mailbox. Usually they try to put them underneath your mailbox so that you know that that one's yours. You don't have to read everything that's laying on the floor. But I did. Found in the corner, laying on the floor. I mean, it's not like a big room or anything like that. You could see that there was, you know, three groups of packages, but whatever. And, oh my gosh, I do have to apologize to Butometry. You know, I, I actually really love Butometry. I am aware that when I order from them, it takes them an entire week to actually send the item out. I'm totally aware of that when I order. And um, some of their prices are, like, really good. So I like ordering from them, and they get lots of stuff around the world. But, like, this last time, it was, like, over two weeks and I hadn't got my order and they have no phone number. I mean, I'm like searching everywhere, no phone number. So I sent them an email and I got like an automated email saying, Hey, yeah, we'll get back to you. All right. And then I didn't hear anything and I didn't hear anything. And there's no phone number and I was kind of aggravated. So I was naughty. I went on social media <laughs> and I was like, Oh, I can't believe it. I haven't heard anything, you know, and I placed an order and I was really kind of not nice. And, uh, Anyway, what happened was they hadn't gotten my payment. Oddly enough, my computer has been doing so many naughty things. I can't even tell you. Um, but for some reason, and I kind of was wondering about that because like the payment screen came up twice. And usually it, you know, it doesn't do that. You push that you paid on PayPal and um, it's paid. So that was weird that it came up twice, and I didn't want to actually double pay it because that actually happened to me in a glitch on eBay, and I actually paid for two. You know, I kind of, I when when that happened, I contacted the seller, and it was like 99 cents, not a big deal. I said, hey, I accidentally ordered two of these. You know, if you could cancel one of my orders, that'd be great. You know, if not, whatever. It doesn't matter. I think it was like nail gems. Probably just should have kept them. But anyways, whatever. Um, so I got an email though right away because I checked my email to see if it went through and what I didn't realize is I hadn't gotten the PayPal email. I got the Butylmetry email saying that my order went through. So I don't even know how an order goes through without being paid, but yeah, mine did because when they said they hadn't received payment after I was naughty, um, that's, <laughs> they said, hey, well, we haven't received your payment. Um, so then I went back through all my PayPal stuff, and no, they hadn't received it. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I paid for it, and everything is good, and they shipped it out, like, right away. So that was nice. <laughs> but anyway, so let's take a look at what I got. I'm kind of really excited. And sorry, Butometry, and, you know, they're, they're actually a really good company. I like ordering from them. So let's see what I got. So here's my little haul. Um, first, actually, something came in from eBay, and what this is, it's like a um, a gradient brush. I don't know what possessed me to buy this gradient brush. It's huge. I don't know. Maybe if my nails were like huge, then the gradient brush might work. But I don't think this is going to work. But it's really nice and soft. I really like this brush. It's pretty cool. Anyways, and they sent me one set of free little toenail separators. Okay. Let's put that away. And then, Butymetry. Yay, what I've been waiting for is my big, huge, um, Creative Shop Stamper. Is it a Creative Shop? Yes, it's a Creative Shop Stamper. And they sent me this little, um, scraper. It's got Butymetry's name on it. That's nice. Um, and it's hollow at the bottom. I really, I got this. I love my stamp, my stampers. Um, that I have. I love them. I just got this one to shrink images because I want to try shrinking images with it. And hopefully it's easier than what I was doing the last time. 
Um, and then I got this little case. How cute is that? A little case goes in there. Um, you know, FYI, <laughs> do not stick the holder in the case without the stamping head on it. Okay, I did that and I had a heck of a time getting it back out because of this lip. Oh my gosh. I must have been working on it for like five minutes trying to get the thing right back out of there. So that was like crazy. Um, but the holder was like three bucks and I think the stamper was on sale for like five dollars. And I'm, ooh, I'm really liking that. That's like not, nice and sticky and squishy. I like that. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, and then they sent me a free gift. I'm just such a nasty person. And I even got a free gift. I love little water decals. Yeah, that's really nice of them. Okay. Then here's my colors alike stamping polishes, which in this video you are going to see me swatch these. Um, I don't usually say, hey, I got so much stuff. You know, check back in another video. This is going to be a short video. Um, I'm going to swatch these and see how they stamp. And so I'm really excited. This whole set um, came from Poland from Colors Alike, and um, it was $35. Amazingly enough, I am shocked that they didn't ship it in a box. Coming from Poland to the United States, hey guys, what the heck? But it was wrapped like three times in bubble wrap, but I was like, I know, like oh my gosh, I cannot even believe a little bitty package would come. A, not in a box. Especially when, the you know, this is kind of pricey, $35 for five polishes. Um, but if they work the way I saw that they worked, um, then I will be very happy and it will be well worth the money. So I think I'm pretty good with stamping polishes. I think I just really need like a dark green. That's all I need. It's like a nice pigmented dark green, like not just any kind of dark green. <laughs> it's got to be good pigmented because I think I have a dark green that, that works like crap. Anyway, so, um, let's get into the video. Let's see how these little guys polish. Woohoo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the colors on this um, this fake nail here. Um, that way I can keep, you know, I've got like this little box that I keep these in and then I know what the color looks like because actually I just bought these to go over black. I mean, if they go over black, they'll go over anything. So I'm only going to show you over black and I'm going to try out this little butterfly image right down there. dries kind of quick so we have to move fast you can't be letting it sit around it could be because they were just outside too um but yeah i am really happy with these look at them they're beautiful i really like the stamping polish it took me a couple of tries to get the orange to work um but look at that one try with the yellow that's really good Let's, you know, I'm just going to keep the camera running. This might be one of those nail or fail videos. I've never done that before. I usually edit, edit, edit. So uh, let's go with blue. Let's see what the blue looks like. Oops, I got to clean the stamper head. Got that. Okay, let's try the blue. Okay. Blue is on there and on my stick looks really good. I like that. Hmm. Okay, two more colors. I hope they fit. <laughs> uh, I wanted to see how it would work with a thinner um, plate when I did the... Um, when I did the dance legend, oops, when I did the dance legend, I kind of did it with a uh, thicker stamp. Okay, so let's try the blue. I mean the green. I'm on green. We're on green right now. We already did blue. Okay. Green is good. I don't want to stick it next to the yellow though. So let's stick the green right up there in the middle. Well, I talked too long and it got stuck on my stamper. You know, I bet you this wouldn't happen if I was doing my sticky stamper though. So, um, but I wanted to see where I was placing it because I've got limited um, space on there. I turned you off to get a clean, um, clean cotton pad. 
I clean this plate. I don't know how it gets so dirty. I mean, cloudy or whatever. Okay, so no talking. <laughs> Pick it up, stamp it down. Lovely. All right, let's check out the pink. Okay, one more. Let's shake this thing up. Yeah, they have a really good consistency. Not too thick, not thin at all. So we're good with that. Picking it up and stamping it down. And that looks really good. Oh, I messed that out because I had some stuff on my stamper. Let's get rid of that. So I like that. Let's zoom in on them. Yeah, I think it was definitely worth the price. I completely love that. Yeah, I like how that looks. Perfect. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.